It's Mike Brookins here to tell us it's not really today, but it's later today in this evening. Yeah, closer to towards tonight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over the hours and hourly with our future cast. But it's enough concern that this meteorologist is saying, let's keep a sharp eye to the sky. Storms Prediction Center agreeing with me. They've got an orange here, a moderate threat for severe weather, primarily being high winds, a lower threat for some damaging large hail. Also, even a slight chance for a tornado. We've also got a chance for some flooding rain. Now, this is going to be from about 6 o'clock in the evening through midnight for the damaging wind threat. And then for the flash flooding, where we could see more than an inch, maybe an inch and a half of rain in a short period of time, I think there's a low chance at that between 7 p.m. and about 2 o'clock in the morning. So that one-two punch has really got us a concern for later on today. But we've got a lot of time to continue to monitor this. Good day to tune in for the new newscast here on CBS 5 and later this evening in case things change and get a live view of where the storms are. Now we'll show you right now there's not a lot with the cold front. The warm front's actually producing a couple of showers and thunderstorms that'll increase our cloud cover for today, starting off mostly sunny with some patchy valley fog. Once those clouds start to increase, we'll see some warmth and humidity with wind out of the south. Then you mix in this cold front, and it could be just the right ingredients for those thunderstorms to quickly develop towards the late afternoon in western New York, Buffalo towards Rochester, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, and then moving into central New York during the heart of the evening, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock before weakening during the overnight. As this thing slides along, we get on the back side of this. It's going to be dramatically cooler, and this is probably the only weather alert we're going to be dealing with the next seven days. So here it goes on our future cast time under the title starting at 11 a.m. Should see a lot of sunshine. Great day. There's a ball game going on for the Syracuse Mets. I think it's the last of the year. We're in the lower 70s already here. Refreshing breeze, still low humidity. That's going to be cranking up along with the temperature. We're going to be about 10 degrees above average, probably warmer than this, 82 degrees. But here we go. From the Niagara Falls area towards Kingston, Ontario, a line of showers and thunderstorms that quickly race to the east and to the southeast during the early evening. This may be a little bit aggressive as far as coming in sooner than what may actually happen and a little bit stronger, but the threat definitely lies there, and this computer model is highlighting that here, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, and there's probably going to be another round towards 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and then late at night this will be weakening. So torrential downpours, maybe some hail, vivid lightning. Fingers crossed we don't get those damaging winds because that could bring down some power lines and some trees, but that'll move to our east and southeast after midnight. Tomorrow, some showers. It's much cooler. Low 60s in the late morning, and then the temperatures fall into the mid 50s by the end of the day. Some lake enhanced rain showers and even colder coming up on Friday. So it's a summer 82 evening thunderstorms tomorrow. Showers off and on breezy 63 feeling like the 50s feeling like the 40s. It's sweater weather for Syracuse home game. At least we clear out after an early shower. It turns mostly sunny by tailgate on Friday, mostly sunny Saturday, chilly, many rural locations in the 30s to start 42 in Syracuse, but warming over the weekend. Super Dirt Week is back and celebrating.